what's up guys TJ here out riding at Whistler today and I'm taking a look at the 2020 Capita indoor survival snowboard Alright, so the Indoor Survival is going to be a nice freestyle focused snowboard, but it's dirty enough where you can still explore the whole resort and have a good time. It's going to double well as a more playful all mountain snowboard. It's a true twin snowboard, so it's going to ride exactly the same in either direction, and it runs a camber dominant profile. It's pretty much full camber, but right as you get to the contact points, the widest point on the nose and tail there, it's going to flatten out and go to zero camber, so that'll make it a little bit less hooky, a little bit less catchy, and just a bit easier to control. I also found those flat zones towards the tips help to lock into rail features as well, so that's a nice little bonus there with that camber profile. I actually found the Indoor Survival to be a pretty poppy snowboard. It's got a lot of pop to offer and just a nice energetic feel overall. It definitely gives some nice feedback anytime you're loading up tension in that snowboard. It's going to load it up well and it's going to give it back to you. So some nice pop and you can even feel it when you're carving, just kind of bouncing between those heel and toe side carves. And kind of going along with that, it's got some Titanol inlays on the nose and tail of the snowboard just outside your bindings, helping to give the board some more stability and add to that poppy energetic feel that I've been finding out here. And while the board does have all that going on, I wouldn't say that stability is a huge standout. It actually has a pretty fun park flex, I'd say just on the softer side of medium. So for presses and butters, you're gonna be able to get those tricks looking the way that you want them to without having to put in a whole ton of effort. It's a very manageable snowboard and a very fun flex, honestly. It has a nice balance, so it's gonna have that flex when you want it, but it doesn't feel squirrely as you're stepping it up to the larger features, coming in with speed to the bigger jumps and the bigger rail features. It's just a really fun all around park board. And like I said, it's also gonna double as a fun, kind of more playful all mountain snowboard as you're cruising around the rest of the mountain. I think it's also worth calling out the base on this guy. Capita put on one of their higher end centered bases, so it's just a higher quality, more durable and faster base on this snowboard. I think the biggest highlights for me though with the Indoor Survival is how much pop it has. It's a really poppy snowboard, super fun for just ollieing off anything, whether it's a roller or a side hit or you're actually trying to get some tricks down in the park. It's gonna have a ton of pop. It actually rivals the DOA in my opinion, which is pretty cool because it's not as stiff as the DOA. And the other highlight is actually the flex. I think it's really nice to kind of have the best of both worlds where you can do those more playful buttery tricks and have fun with that but not feel out of control as you start to ride at higher speeds or get into those larger kind of higher consequence situations. As far as rider in mind, I'd say this is better suited for more intermediate to advanced riders. If you're just starting out, figuring out those fundamentals, it's still gonna be a bit of a lot of board and make it a little bit harder on you. And I definitely say this board is geared more towards freestyle focused riding, just kind of all around freestyle progression. This board's not gonna hold you back. And while it is still gonna perform pretty well outside of the park as you're doing some exploring, I would not buy this guy as just a pure all mountain snowboard. Definitely majority freestyle riding with the indoor survival. Awesome guys, the Indoor Survival is actually a board I've had my eye on for quite a while. So very stoked I was able to get on it and try it out here today. I'll have it linked down in the description if you wanna check it out in a bit more detail. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in a new one soon. Later guys.